2010 Honda has an Avit 2.0 EMC system in it. This wakes the system up. It has a touch screen display. This turns the ignition on. Starts the vehicle. The Avid system runs through its boot up, testing all its systems. Once it finishes its boot up in the systems test, shows that the Avid 2.0 is operating properly. It has an L input which controls the gas and the brake. It's a servo motor on the floor. It runs the gas and the brake. It has a touch screen. It can operate almost all the function of the vehicle. It's electric park brake. It controls the windows. Passenger window. This button operates dome lights. This button operates the cruise control, turns the cruise on, push it again, sets the cruise. It's parking lights, headlights, high beams, low beams. Turn signals. Those auxiliary functions. Auxiliary functions operate the rear view mirror, the side mirrors, up and down and in and out. All by pushing a button. It's for the passenger side. in and out has an auxiliary four auxiliary four opens and closes the side door with the ramp park reverse drive push button shift all of these functions he can control with his L input of a system called the Digitone. We twist his wrist to the right, he'll get a, a one Digitone. Turns on the left blinker. Two tones. Turns on the right blinker. Third tone honks the horn. Fourth tone turns on the high beam, low beams. Fifth tone turns on the wipers. If it goes to the fifth tone again, it'll turn the wipers to high. If it goes to the fifth digit tone and holds it, it'll turn on the windshield squirters. Sixth digit tone sets the cruise control while he's driving down the road. He can operate all these functions without removing his hand from the steering wheel or the L input. <clears throat> Seventh tone runs the left window. Eighth digit tone runs the right window. put it in gear he has to pull back on his L which applies the brake 
can then push this gear shifter mechanism which will put him into drive or neutral drive or reverse or neutral or low this is throttle this is brake So all these functions he can run with the Digitone while he's driving without ever having to remove his hand from the steering wheel or the AL input. The gas and brake. Shuts the vehicle off. This shuts down the system. can also operate the system with the factory OEM controls just by turning off the Avit EMC system. It also has a backup steering pump for the zero effort steering in case this vehicle dies. As soon as the vehicle loses, loses RPM, it will kick on the backup steering pump automatically which gives him power steering whether the vehicle is running or not so he can pull to the side of the road. This gives him power steering even with the vehicle not running. This disengages the EMC system, which makes it makes you be able to drive it with the factory OEM controls. So run the wipers off the touch screen. All the functions that are on the touch screen he can also run with the AL input just by twisting his wrist and engaging the Digitone. Auxiliary 4 opens his side door automatically and lowers his ramp. Also engages the kneeling system which lowers the vehicle four to six inches which makes it easier for him to transit from in and out of the vehicle up and down the ramp. Both front seat and back seat are removable and have wheels on them. As soon as you disengage them from the locking mechanism, you can roll the seats right out. His front seat rolls right out. It has an easy lock system for his wheelchair. When he rolls into the wheelchair, 